Anywho, let's get on out of here. By the way, Travis Willingham, I don't know if I said this in another video, but in case I didn't, Travis Willingham does the voice of Gaius from Tales of Zillia. So, good voice actor. There are definitely good voice actors here. The voice delivery isn't always great, but there is definitely some good voice actors. Okay, I don't think I can get those chests, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really care. Even if Cardianon's a one-time area, I'd rather just move on. This is far from the 100% playthrough. I think we have to do, like, battles here, don't we? How on earth are we gonna fight, though, while we're dragging, dragging Bacchus? Look, how does that work? Oh, wait, is there no encounters here? I thought there were encounters here. That's interesting. Yeah, keep it going, Edge. Come on. Just a little further. Keep going, people. Okay, I thought there were enemies. I guess not. I'm barely uh, certain the uh, next bulkhead is uh, the last one. Come on, uh, this is it. The final stretch. Oh no, it's gonna close. Uh, enough already. Put me down at once and go. I thought we'd been through this. Don't make us waste our breath with your nonsense, Bacchus. Huh? Why are you stopping? You'll be trapped here as well. Ah, hello. Other main character. Also, fan service character. Um, who are you? <laughs> You're not the red-haired man after all. Huh? Hmm, I wonder who that was. It looks like she used a lightning symbol. I don't think she was a guardian on. Red-haired man. Did she mean who else I'm is red-haired in this universe? And thus I'm at a loss to fully digest the current situation. But I believe we had best hurry. Uh, that's right. Move it, people. Who else is red-haired in this universe? It's probably who we're thinking of. Like, come on. It's gotta be Crow. Ah, we're out. Freedom. Disappeared. It warped Lemel, along with all the Grigori's secrets. The Cardianon were conducting acts of aggression through use of the Grigori. That cannot be condoned. But if there were no Grigori, the Cardianon would have evolved normally. They wouldn't have invaded Lemuris. If there were no Grigori... The Grigori are gone. The Cardianon said it himself, remember? It was their final epiphany. Yeah, but... Edgy, nothing like what happened to my home will ever happen again. That's all that matters, Kay. Limmel. You're right. I guess we actually were able to protect Lemuris this time. We were. I'm really glad. Edge, you haven't done a single thing wrong since you took command. I think you should try trusting yourself for a change. Just let yourself be Edge. Good old Edge, okay? You gotta be optimistic, right? Yeah, we do. I'm counting on you guys, all right? Key. Mr. Crow. 
the friend of whom you were so proud truly is a straight arrow. Being with him and his crew, it makes warmth radiate throughout even my cold steel body. Did <laughs> you just see Raimi and Limmel? Oh my word. Hey, hello Bacchus. What's up Bacchus? I've just sent a report to EN2 on successfully fulfilling my mission to destroy the Gregorian Cardianon. I am certain my report will eventually reach Mr. Crow's eyes and he will learn of you and your friends. What? You could talk to Crow? It grieves me to say I cannot. The ship's equipment is sufficient for no more than mere message transmissions. I see. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. If he's alive, I'm sure we'll meet him somewhere. You truly are an optimist, Mr. Edge. Anyway, you said Crow was headed for this EN2. What kind of place is it? It's the home of the Morphous. Your home? Long ago, we departed from our mother planet, disappearing into the abyss of space to become guardians of the galaxy. Yo, good movie. I love that film. Th those three films are amazing. The third one was, oh, chef's kiss. One of the best Marvel movies. It was then that we constructed our base of operations, the artificial planet Yen 2. Constructed? You built a planet? Oh, dude, I've got some stuff to say about EN2. I'm gonna hold off until we go to EN2, but I got some stuff to say. There's some theories about EN2 and another Star Ocean game. Oh, I can't wait. Of course, EN2 should not be compared to a natural planet. Its dimensions are closer to that of a space station. Nevertheless, its environment is remarkably similar to nature herself. We believe EN2 makes a fine home. Wow, that sounds incredible. I hope I get the chance to see it. Oh, you will. Well, shall we pay a visit then, Mr. Edge? I would like to head for EN2 as soon as possible. Huh? Many mysteries lie before us, the state of the Cardianon, their missing mothership, and the Grigori as well. Ah, and we can find information on all of this at EN2, huh? Yeah, I suppose we can't just let any of that go without a word. I've entered a flight path to EN2 into the navigational computer. Now all I need is your permission as captain. If I may ask your cooperation, Mr. Edge? Roger that, Bacchus. Alright, our next mission is to gather intelligence on EN2. I've got some stuff to say on EN2. It'll certainly be interesting to see what EN2 is like. Oh wait, I skipped your dialogue. I know we're visiting on official duty, but I'm still looking forward to it. Of course, man. Always going to new planets is fun. We're gonna... We're going to Bucky's home. I bet everyone there is really big and tall and stuff. Baby, what's up? Look, Edge, this isn't a field trip, okay? I get nervous when you get that wild, excited look in your eyes. Do I go to the item creation thing now? To talk to Welch? Or is that after we do the trip? Okay, it's after Hello, the trip. What can I do you for today? Oh, Bacchus is still not in the party, so I'm not going to mess with this now. Oh, I think we have to like choose our location first. We're also able to go back to Limerus? What happens if I go to Limerus? Like, is there anything to do in Limerus? I don't think Aos is going to have all that much, but we go to Aos in the story. So I don't want to worry about going to Aos right now, because if there is anything to do in Aos important, we can always do it, like, when we go to Aos. Because we'll go to Aos. We'll go to Aos, like, again in the story. I don't think you ever have to go back to Limerus. Oh. Okay. Share a room with, uh, Faye, with Edge. Why not? The private actions to see? EN2 is nothing less than my beloved home. I'm sure you'll be appreciative towards it. Do I only see private actions when I'm going to EN2? Can I see this one with Welch? Okay, no. We have to be going to EN2. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. My bad. What do we have down here? Nothing. It's on the opposite side. Okay, I'm here. Oh, you're not able to fast travel yet. That's later in the game. I'm mostly going here to charge my ring. I don't think I want to, like, backtrack right now. I think backtracking gets easier in the late game. The part of me kind of doesn't even want to bother. Oh, can you not charge my ring? Grandpa, I came to see you. That was, a, that was a quick talk. I thought Limo would have more dialogue there. Hello. I wonder if my time will come soon. Is it in Woodley, maybe? To charge my ring? 
How quick is it to Woodley? Is Woodley far from here? Woodley's pretty far from here. I do need to charge my ring. So I guess we'll do a quick trip to Woodley and see if we find anyone there. We're not going to be doing much backtracking now because I think later it gets easier to backtrack because they have like these warp symbols. You get like these warp symbols for backtracking later and Starship 4 has no missable content. And to be honest, like, most of the content in the game, like, the side quests are just really boring. They're like fetch quests. So maybe we'll do some later in the game, but... They don't even mark them. Why should I feel like I bother, you know? Like, just go through the story and do some... Some standout side content, because there is some side content that is more than just, like, hey, fetch quests. So I'll probably do those. Like, I know one of the planets has, like, an optional dungeon or something. We'll probably do that. Like, one of the planets has an optional dungeon, and then there's also... Oh, Bacchus also has mine. So we can level that up a little bit. I also don't feel like going back to Aeos to get all the mining spots. That's going to get really tedious really fast. I got a bunch of stuff. I didn't even get to read it all. But that was my choice. I pressed X too soon. We can use this. But yeah, I kind of want to keep the story going for now, and if there if there is anything like I want to do, we can go back, but I think backtracking right now is just more tedious. Unless there's like a private action, I'm not going to bother. No wonder I like never do the side content in Star Ocean 4, because they don't really guide you towards it. Some, the, like the side quests, for example, aren't even marked. Side quests aren't even marked, they just like, hey, talk to random NPCs and get a side quest. It's just not, it's not a good experience. So I'd rather just, and the side quests aren't even that interesting, so I'd rather just not do them. Is this even the way to Woodley? Sure hope so. This looks like the Citadel though, more than Woodley. Okay, no, this is Woodley. Or is it? Also, where is- this is the mining point. You cannot even see this because of the snow. Yeah, some of the side quests are just like, you know, they're self-explanatory. They're not too hard to figure out either. And they're not really that interesting. So I feel like people watching won't really mind that I'm just like, oh, won't do that. Excuse me, your mother's looking for you. Oh, apparently this is a side quest. You have to go back home to mommy now, sweetheart. Okay. Okay, I don't even know who gave me that quest. I haven't seen you in a while. I had a suspicion you'd be along pretty soon. Why, you ask? Well, because the clouds are moving the same as they did when you first arrived. Okay. Yeah, everyone has moved here for some reason. Hey, it's the God Troop. We had a serious monster attack, so we're, we remaining villagers all moved to Woodley. I got Basil. I'm glad I stocked up all those items. They really came in handy through the forest. That one ended up being left over, so it's all yours. Limo, I'm sorry. Why are you saying sorry? Because you... Please, you've got to let me apologize. As the vice chief of the village, I couldn't protect Gimdo. Or anyone, really. If only I could have been by the chief's side, I have often dreamed about it. It's alright, mister. Just try to make everyone happy now, okay? That's good enough. Thank you, Limo. Uh, I don't know where the... Where's the sorceress that charges my ring? Is it you? All these people have been devoting ever since we left Trium. Feel so good. The nonsense while helping out. Yada yada. Is there any? Who charges it? Who charges my ring? Surely they're in Woodley now. There, there. What's wrong? Why are you crying? The fang flute my grandma gave me is broken. It doesn't play anymore and I can't fix it. Can you guys fix this? What do you think, Edge? Well, I think it'd be doable if we had the materials, but maybe it'd be much quicker if we made a new one. Hmm. Right, leave it to us. I don't know if we can fix it or not, but we'll try. Really? I'll be waiting, okay? I promise we'll do our best. Hang in there, all right? I have to make that? Probably, like, through item creation? I don't know where this person to charge the ring is. There's certainly a lot we're poking into. What would you like to be? Okay, this is the person. Uh, just fill up both of these. Like, I have the full for it. Alright. We're, we're not gonna mess with any side quests. Side quests are annoying in this game, mostly because they don't guide me to them. And they're not... They're not fun. <laughs> they're not enjoyable. They're mostly just like, hey, fetch quests. Maybe we'll do some in the late game if they're convenient, because fast travel will be a lot easier. But right now, we're backtracking is annoying, I'm not gonna bother. I just wanna go through the story. At least until, like, the end game. 
literally the only goal I have for this playthrough, due to story, we're also going to watch as many private actions as possible. Like, I'll, I'll try to get all the private actions in the game. I don't know if I'll get every single one because I might have missed some, but I'll get as many as I can. We'll get most of the private actions. I'll, I'll get, like, a decent, you know, Star Ocean 4 experience. We'll get, we'll basically get the Star Ocean 4 experience because, like, you know, some of the side quests are boring anyway. <laughs> Or just like simple fetch quests like, hey, go get this item or make this, etc. But uh, we will see like all the private actions. Private actions are more relevant than the side quest. I feel like that'll be a good enough playthrough. And I'm probably not going to do all the post game because I remember hating the second post game dungeon. Maybe I'll do Cave of the Seven Stars. Cave of the Seven Stars is like the first post game dungeon. Maybe I'll do it. But I'm probably not going to do Wandering Dungeon because I hate Wandering Dungeon. It's like one of the worst post-game dungeons in gaming. And there's also an optional dungeon in one of the planets. We'll be sure to do that as well. I will give you all a decent amount of content. I'm not going to like speed run the story. Like I'll give you all a decent amount of content for this playthrough. I'm not going to speed run it. Because I do like this game. I want to make that very clear. <laughs> I do like this game. The gameplay is really fun. The planets are good. They're fun to explore to a sense. The story has interesting themes, but I don't think the characters are great. Some of the characters are fine. Others are pretty bad. <laughs> and I'm sorry if people don't want to hear that, but that's how I feel about the game. But I'm also, I'm playing this game, you know? I, if I really hated the game, I wouldn't be doing it for the channel. I would not be doing it for the channel if I didn't like this game. So I want to make that very clear for people who are like, oh, you're so negative on the characters. I'm trying my best not to be negative. I'm trying to like, you know, not be too negative on them. But obviously, if something happens and I don't like it, I'm going to talk about it because that this is my playthrough. It's my opinion, you know, what's the point of my playthrough if I can't express my opinion on things, etc. Okay, let's go to EN2 and move on the story. We're close to my favorite character. We inch ever closer to my favorite character. We might honestly get her in the next session, probably. If not the session after that, for sure. We'll probably meet her in the next session. Maybe we won't get to play as her until, like, two hours in, but definitely in the next hour after this session, like, because I'm only going for, like, another 20 minutes because I have to stream. But, um... Probably, probably, we'll probably, maybe we'll meet her in the next session, but maybe we'll get her as a party member the session after, but we're, we're coming up to her. We're coming up to my favorite character. I have finished inputting the coordinates for our next destination. It will take some time until we arrive, so some rest will be a good idea. I think we have some private actions to watch. First one is, uh, go to Welch. Welcome home, Master. Oh. Oh. Is there something the matter, Master? Uh... What exactly do you think you're doing? <laughs> Cute, don't you think? <sighs> it's a Victorian maid outfit. I found it in some historical literature. Literature? Yep. I was flipping through some history books, and apparently men love being addressed as Master. Well, did you? Uh, hold on. I'm not sure I really get this. Why would men enjoy being called Master? Hmm, I don't know. They're really old books. Okay, how about I try this? Oh my word. Well, are you smitten? Did you enjoy that? Okay, I'm getting more and more confused here. Big brother, I don't even have a little sister. Take a good look here. I'm not just the little sister type. I have glasses on. Glasses! Is that supposed to mean something? I don't know. What were people thinking back then? What were they trying to leave future generations with literature like that? Beats the heck out of me. That was a long time ago. Well, anyway, what's important to us is the here and now. 
We do live in the present, after all. True. Let's not get hung up on the past. Live in the moment. Reflection is at times necessary. There are always new discoveries to be made by studying history. People's behavior accumulates and thus becomes history. It is our responsibility to pass that on to the future. Yes, as the witnesses to that history. Anyway, let's get back to that item creation. Aye, aye, sir! What was that conversation? What was that, dude? Oh my word, Bacchus was like barely involved in that. They're supposed to have one oh, like... How you doing? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> the other characters like are supposed to have one, but this time they just weren't. That's so funny. Uh, I'm gonna have Bacchus go here. 